uh, to, to wallow in depression tries to get us thank God to tries to overwhelm us amen anybody ever been in a place where the enemy came and tried to overwhelm you amen he tries to overwhelm us thank God with our problems tries to overwhelm us amen even with our responsibilities tries to overwhelm us amen even thank God with with things that aren't necessarily sins amen that but can become so weighty thank God upon us thank God that he can slow us down in this Christian race amen but I come to tell you thank God that you have to take the posture praise God like the pastor priest on last Sunday we've got to be sober amen we've got to be alert we've got to be watchful amen we've got to realize that the enemy amen is always on his job amen we've got to realize that the devil comes for one thing and for one thing only and that is to destroy you amen I wonder can I find a witness in the house of God on today amen amen the devil comes amen he comes thank God for one purpose and one purpose only and that is to destroy you amen and he will do it any, by any means necessary amen whatever he's got to do thank God he'll do it to destroy you amen he might not be able to get you to amen to commit one big sin amen so what he'll do is he'll he'll try and chip away at you thank God every single day amen he'll try and chip away at you try to chip away at your faith try and chip away at your resolve amen if I can keep you out of one servant amen if the devil can keep you out of one service amen that's a victory for him and guess what he won't be satisfied until he's kept you out all week amen and not only that but if he can keep you out all week amen he won't be satisfied until he keeps you out on Sunday thank God uh, amen I want you to know that's how the devil works amen when we encourage you to get to the house of God when we encourage you to come to church amen it's not just because we want to see you amen it's because we know that the devil is on your trail and the safest place in the whole wide world is up in the house of God amen clap your hand and tell God thank you if you don't come when you should I want you to know that God is going to break you uh, yes he will amen the shepherd whenever the shepherd had his and God had his flock of sheep amen I heard uh, somebody tell the story amen that there was always one sheep and God that would amen when the shepherd said go right amen the one sheep would go left amen there was always one sheep uh, amen that would be looking and God where it should not be looking and looking over the pasture where it did should not be looking and it may even try to take and God a few steps toward and God the place where it should not be and so what the shepherd would do amen the shepherd would take that sheep and God into the stable uh, put a vice on its leg and break its leg uh, amen and I could see the sheep looking up at the shepherd and say why did you break my leg shepherd uh, amen the shepherd would tell the sheep uh, I had to break your leg uh, to stop you from going where you should not go uh, amen I had to break you in order to save your life uh, I want you to know uh, if you don't come when you should come if you don't do what you ought to do amen God told me to tell you I'll break you down uh, because if I don't break you you won't be saved if I don't break you I can't save your life why don't you clap your head and tell God thank you tell a neighbor you better get to the house of God every opportunity you get tell him it tell him it's not a sacrifice it's what you supposed to do it shouldn't be a sacrifice to get to the house of God it's what you supposed to do it's where you'll be saved it's where you get your strength you having battles on the outside I would challenge you to get to the house of of God because huh? I found out huh? that where the spirit of the Lord is huh? there is liberty huh? have your hand and shout glory 
Shout glory another time. Tell a neighbor, get here, get here. Tell him, get here, get here. And tell him, when you're here, don't forget to thank God for allowing you to be here. Because the truth of the matter is, none of us deserve to be here. The truth of the matter is, if God allowed us, if he allowed us to get here, that is a testament of his mercy. If he allowed you to walk through the doors on today, that is a testament of his mercy. If he allowed you to walk through the sanctuary, you ought to thank him for his mercy. You ought to thank him for his grace because you should have been cut off after what you did. You should have been snuffed out after what you said. You should have been cut off after what you thought. You should have been cut off. But thanks be to God who is merciful and his mercy endures forever. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory another time. Look at a neighbor and tell him I don't know about you. But I know I don't deserve to be here. I messed up one time too many. God gave me a second chance. I messed up but he gave me a second chance. He gave me forgiveness. And you ought to look over and tell somebody. Some of y'all are not just one time folk. Some of y'all got a second chance. And a third chance. You want to tell somebody, I got it together now. I should be dead, but I got it together now. I should be on drugs, but I got it together now. I should have lost my mind, but I got it together. Clap your hands and shout glory. Shout glory another time. I got to get to my text. But is there anybody grateful in the house of God on today? No, you shouldn't be here. But but I thank God for waking me up this morning. Every time I pray, it's not just a script. It's how I feel. I thank him for waking me up this morning for starting me on my way didn't have to do it but he did clap your hand and tell God thank you tell him thank you another time got to move on in a hurry but amen this text is full of full of stress this text is full of angst full of pain and, and it's full of worry amen and I found out that sometimes in this Christian walkway we find ourselves in, in situations where amen we can't figure it out we can't understand fear with fear fear with angst and, and fear with worry sometimes we find ourselves in places where the devil has come and he has not come alone anybody ever feel that you've been attacked by all of hell let me see your hands if you ever felt like all of the powers of darkness have visited your house at one time no matter what it is how all the powers of darkness have attacked your body trying to chip away at you trying to get you to go back trying to get you to quit trying to get you to turn around but I found out in this text amen the recipe thank God for victory cause I found out that the battle belongs to God but the victory will belong to me clap your hand and shout glory shout glory another time I found the lesson and God in this text and even though Jehoshaphat was fearful even though Judah was afraid they did not let the 
that fear keep them from seeking God and I come to tell somebody whenever you are in fear whenever you discouraged whenever tears are streaming down your face there are five things that you can do amen to get the victory five things thank God in this text that give us the recipe thank God for victory verse number three Jehoshaphat feared but he set himself to seek the Lord and watch this now proclaim the fast how come to tell somebody if you want to get the victory you need to go on a fast if you got something that you need God to do for you you need to go on a fast but I heard the Bible say is this not a fast that I have chosen to break the bands of wickedness to loose the chains of wickedness and to destroy every single yoke you want to be delivered put yourself on a fast you want God to move for you put yourself on a fast clap your hand and shout glory shout glory Jehoshaphat proclaimed the fast but not only that the second thing he did in verses number 5 he got the people together and they began to talk to God in prayer I don't care who you are I don't care how strong you are if you need God to do something for you you got to couple your fasting with some prayer cause I heard the songwriter say I know prayer changes things I know prayer changes things in the arms of Jesus I learned to lean I know prayer changes things and I stopped tell somebody when they call on Jesus he'll answer prayer call on him in the midst of your pain call on him in the midst of your fear call on him laying on your sick bed call on him out of the courtroom call on him call on him what's his name what's his name somebody call on him and shout Judah hallelujah the third thing that they did if you want the victory there's something else you got to do in verse number 16 God made his word known and he gave his people some divine instruction and I, I come to tell everybody in the house today you can get the victory by disobeying the word of God you can't get the victory by not hearkening unto the voice of God when God tell you to do something you better do it if God tell you to move you better move I heard the songwriter say when the Lord gets ready you got to move he told his people tomorrow go down here and that's what they did and number five one more thing that God told them to do if you want to get the victory you got to learn how to thank him for it in advance clap your hand and shout glory shout glory 
glory another time. Amen. Notice what Judah did. Thank God in verse number 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that they should praise the beauty of holiness. And notice now what they did. They didn't get the praises together and keep them in the back. They didn't get the praises together and scatter them throughout the congregation. They didn't get the praises together and tell them you trail the army. No, no, no. No, no, no. But they got the praises together and sent them out ahead. Thank God of the army which let me know that more than what God wants than a fight from you. He wants you just to praise him. He wants you just to thank him. When the battle is raging, he wants you to give glory to his name. And notice now what they did. They got the praises together. Is there anybody in the room that don't mind being a praiser? Let me see your 